Are you wondering why your headset is not working on your computer, specifically with Windows 10? Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to troubleshoot your headset to get it working on your computer. So let's get started right now. For those of you that are new here, my name is David. This is the channel Headset Advisor, where we review and compare all the latest headsets, speaker phones, and webcams to help you make a better buying decision. So consider hitting that subscribe button. Now, before we get to adjusting the settings on your computer, we wanna take your headset through some basic troubleshooting steps. So if you're using a wired headset like the Discover D722U here, you want to unplug the headset from the computer and plug it back into the computer into a different USB port if you have one available. What happens sometimes is the USB ports do wear out over time, so plugging it into a new port can get it to work. Now, if you have a wireless headset, you're going to want to do a couple of things. One is turn the headset off and if it has the included Bluetooth USB adapter, you're gonna to want to unplug that from the computer. And if it has a removable battery, you're going to remove the battery from the headset at the same time. Once you've done all of that, you're gonna let it sit for about five to 10 seconds to fully power down, then go ahead and plug the battery back into the headset, turn the headset back on, and then plug in that USB adapter if you have it. Now, if you're using a wireless headset, just connecting to Bluetooth on the computer, you're gonna want to unpair the headset from the computer and then repair the headset back to the computer so that it is reconnected. Now that we got the basics out of the way, and make sure you do those steps. I know they're super basic, super simple, but make sure you do that step first as that solves actually the majority of the headset problems we deal with. So make sure you do that. All right, so now that you have it repaired up to your computer or replugged back into your computer, you're going to go to the sound settings of your computer. And to do that, all you do is uh, type into the search sound settings you will go ahead and click on the sound settings then you will see output sound and you will see input sound output is going to be your speakers so in this case it is set to the discover d722u and then you can also see the speaker headphone for the realtek and that's the built-in speakers into this computer and then you see the input device, which is the microphone, and you have a variety of other microphones that's built into this computer. Now, if you do not see your device at this point, that could be because your headset is actually not working, it might be broken, but what you're gonna wanna do to double check is go to manage uh, sound devices, and then you will see that you have these input devices on uh, your screen. What can happen sometimes is they can become disabled. So if it becomes disabled, like I have here, you cannot select that device as a, uh, an option for you to use as an input. So to re-enable this microphone, you would just go to the microphone and click enable. And that's going to allow you to reselect your devices when uh, you are selecting them. So right here, the headphones is set to discover D722U, which is what I want. And the microphone is set to D722U. And then, of course, you can see that uh, the microphone's actually being picked up here. So you know that it's actually working. So if you have it to the point that your device is selected, we're ready to go to the next step. Sometimes what happens is Windows likes to mute uh, the microphone. So you need to double check to make sure that the device properties are not set to mute. So we can go uh, with the Discover D722U selected, we're gonna go into our device properties 
and uh, make sure that this volume is not set to zero. So this could be set to 100, depending upon how loud you want your microphone. So we're just going to set it up to 100. Gonna double check our additional uh, device properties. When you click the additional device properties, you will see um, some extra information regarding your headset. You want to go to the levels tab and what can happen is sometimes it is preset to uh, mute the microphone. So you wanna make sure that this is unmuted, then you would click apply and save. And one other thing you can do is click this listen to device. Um, and when you check that and click apply, it's going to uh, play your audio from your microphone into whatever uh, speaker uh, input that you selected. So if you wanted to test out that microphone, you can do that by checking that listen to this device box. Now uh, go ahead and click OK. And that should resolve most of the issues if your headset mic is uh, not working properly on Windows 10 or any PC for that matter. When you go to the sound uh, icon on the bottom of your screen, when you select uh, this headphone, the Discover D722U, that is not selecting your default device for your microphone. That is just for your speakers, so keep that in mind. Now that you've adjusted your headset on the computer, you wanna check your settings on whatever app you're trying to use your headset on. So if you're trying to do a Zoom meeting, for example, you're going to navigate to the up arrow on Zoom, go to your audio settings, and then you're going to go and make sure that your headset is selected both on the speakers and also as the microphone so that you know that your headset is actually set on this particular uh, software. Because what happens sometimes is your default device on your computer does not mean that it's your default device on the software application. So you can use a completely different uh, audio device on Zoom that you normally use on your computer. So it gets confusing which one is set to the default device. So you're gonna wanna make sure that both your sound settings on your computer is set to your headset, and then also your uh, software application is set to your default device. Now, if that didn't work, we do have a support team that is ready to help even if you didn't purchase your headsets through us. Just send us an email to support at headsetadvisor.com and one of our expert technicians can help you get your headset up and working. And if it's been a while since you've purchased your headset, it might be time for a new headset. So we've actually put together an automated headset recommending tool that you can utilize on our website. Just go to headsetadvisor.com backslash quiz. Take this quick few question quiz that will make a recommendation based on your unique situation and give you the best headset for your needs. So again, check that out at headsetadvisor.com backslash quiz or check it out in the links in the description below. Well, I hope this video has been helpful to you. If not, drop us a comment, let us know what you need and we'll make an updated video to this to answer more of your questions. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Really appreciate it and we'll see you next time.